All right, and we have another glorious day in the lab. Amy again, yep. <laughs> Today we're gonna to be doing the ideal gas law, molecular weight of a vapor, also known as the modified Dumas method for molar mass determination. Here we have a large beaker with right around 550 milliliters of water heated up to approximately 90 degrees Celsius. We also have a 125 ml Erlenmeyer flask covered with a square piece of aluminum foil. And uh, later we'll poke a hole in the top of that using one of these pins. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is find the combined total mass of this Erlenmeyer flask with the piece of aluminum foil and record that mass, which we have done up here for the first trial. The mass of the flask and aluminum foil is 96.046 grams. All right. Then, of course, we'll try to create a hot water bath that we're heating on a hot plate. We're gonna use a uh, 10 mil graduated cylinder to measure and pour out approximately two milliliters of our unknown liquid. Uh, six milliliters <laughs> of our unknown liquid. The unknown liquid is unknown number seven with a boiling point of 78.1 degrees Celsius. The molecular components of this are 2.14% carbon, 13.13% hydrogen, and 34.73% oxygen. So we'll take our unknown liquid and introduce it to our pre-weighed Erlenmeyer flask. Now that the unknown liquid is in the flask, we'll cover it with our aluminum foil and poke a hole in the top to release excess vapor as we heat it in our hot water bath. Oh my god. It's dangerous. <laughs> there we go. Now that we have the Erlenmeyer flask with the unknown liquid clamped into the hot water bath, we will continue heating at the boiling point of water until the liquid has vaporized. Upon analysis, you can see that the liquid, the unknown liquid we put in the flask, has evaporated. And now we're going to take this and place it on our ice bath to cool it down and recondense the vapor in the flask. Once the vapors have recondensed, we will dry the flask off and then find its mass again. Now that the flask has been sitting on ice for a little bit, the vapors inside have recondensed. Oh my god. And we'll dry it off and find its mass. And the final mass is 96.349 grams. <laughs> All right, 96.046 grams was our beginning mass, and our final mass is 96.349 grams with the temperature of the water bath at 100 degrees Celsius. Also, the pressure is 765.3 in millimeters of mercury. If you're in Chemistry 110, this will be the only trial that you experiment with. All the other classes will continue on and do a second trial. Also important to this lab is to know the complete volume of the 125 mil Erlenmeyer flask. Uh, it may seem that a 125 mil Erlenmeyer flask is self-explanatory that it holds 125 mils. However, a gas will actually fill the entirety of the Erlenmeyer flask, so we need to fill it with water to the brim to determine how much 
space is actually in the flask. And Amy's gonna do that for us now. Aren't you, Amy? <laughs> and I will measure this when you graduate the cylinder. We'll most likely have to do more than one full volume of the graduated cylinder. So we can just dump that out. And that is water, so it's safe to go on the drain. was 45.9 milliliters. So the total volume of the flask is actually 145.90 milliliters. 